Okay, hello. Um, give me just a moment. My hair is an absolute mess today, so we're just gonna slap on a beanie and call it good. Um, okay, hi. My name is Leo. Sorry, I'm sitting on my knees, so I'm taller. Um, I, uh, I use they, them pronouns. Hi, what's up? It's me again. Um, I wanted to make a video about binding safety and then I'll go over four, four ways to bind um, with and without a binder. Yeah. So I'm not safety. Things you should not bind with. Um, never bind with ace bandages ever. The reason is they are made to you like if you're if you're wrapping them around a sprained ankle or something. They are made to tighten around that with movement. And if you put that around your chest, it's going to tighten on your chest anytime you move. Um, so do not do that. That is what causes people to break ribs and injure themselves horribly. Um, other ways you shouldn't chest bind. Some people use duct tape. Not a good idea. That will tear your skin. Um, don't do it please. Um, and of course, you know, basic binder things. Um, don't, don't sleep in a binder. Don't wear it for more than eight hours. Although I will admit I do that quite often. Don't wear it any longer than you have to. Um, minimal exercise in it. I will show you a way to bind with sports bras. That is probably better if you're going to be working out or exercising. So, um, and then with GC2B, which is a big company, they make binders. I'll show, I have one, I'll show it to you later. Um, their advice, if you're going to be wearing one of their binders is to, if you're wearing a binder to work out, buy one the size, a size bigger than you would usually get to just wear in your daily life. Okay. So first way of binding with sports bras, you put one on normally put another one on backwards over it. I guess it doesn't matter what you put, what order you put them on in. I find it more comfortable to put the back one, backwards one on over on the, on the top, but whatever. Um, later in the video, I'll post a photo of all four ways of binding. Um, so you can see exactly how flat they make you, but that's that one. It works pretty well. Um, it's not the most comfortable because of this, like it sits right on my collarbones right there, um, but it works pretty well. Um, I guess this could work if you were in the gym. I don't work out, so I wouldn't know, but uh, yeah, you do have to wear um, like a higher necked t-shirt or button down a flannel or something and generally wear something with a pattern or something to it like collared shirts, I guess, would hide this, but t-shirts, um, like a solid print t-shirt, will show the little little adjusters, um, and will show this, so people will see that there's something under your shirt. Also, sometimes, depending on how your sports bras fit, um, right where they overlap here, um, there might be a little bit of a bump, and you won't be completely flat, just because of the all the, the fabric. But it, it, you'll have to try it out with different shirts and whatever it is you want to wear. So, uh, next method of binding is KT tape. Ooh. So, I'm going to put this on. Um, don't completely pull it off. I'll explain it in detail once I get this on. But um, And you want to push up and back. I use this for open chest binding for cosplays and stuff. Um, push up and back and back. Hole. KT tape especially is very flexible. Um, so yeah. Um, and you're probably going to need to practice it a little bit before you can get this perfect because, or you, like if you're only doing it for cosplays or open chest binds, have someone help you with it because it's difficult to get on your own. Um, but uh, things to note, band-aids over your nipples or this will tear your skin and make you bleed on your nips. Um, but this works for open chest binding um, because 
it just like, I don't know, works better for some people. And obviously I didn't pull up enough because you can still see there, but it basically just pushes your boobs under your armpit. And if you're just doing it for cosplay, you can put makeup here. I do know there are some people who bind like this every day because KT tape is flexible. You can still move and stuff, but it's not. And I mean, I think you're pretty secure, but I, I wouldn't wear this all day. Um, yeah, uh, this is KT tape comes in strips like that. Uh, you can probably find it at like a Walmart or a Walgreens. Um, so that's that. This is open chest binding. Some people use other kinds of tape for this, like medical tapes and stuff. Um, KT tape is easiest, but if medical tape is what you have and you can do it without hurting yourself, go for it. On to the next method of binding. This is the Tokyo Tea binder from Amazon. Um, so this is an actual real chest binder. I'm going to look up how much it costs. So this binder, quite obviously, it has row of clasps down the front. A lot of binders from Amazon and other related companies do. Um, they have clasps down here, maybe down the side. Um, so I'll put a link to this one down in the description. This one it comes in white, black, and beige. Um, let's see, it's $20. Um, uh, you can't see when I'm wearing it, but it also has three sizes on the shoulder clasps. Um, let me... So this one, you know, in the front here, it also has, has three rows of clasps. I just wear it on the smallest. Um, so this... It works pretty well. Um, generally, as with all binders with clasps, um, they're not going to work as well as a binder you would pull over your head because they, the something, words. They generally don't bind as well because it's pulling everything towards the clasp instead of flattening it out. So like when I put this on and I pull it together in the middle to clasp it, it's pulling my boobs into the middle. Um, and it still works, but you're going to have to do a bit more adjusting. Um, one thing I do like about this in comparison to my GC2B binder is that it has a lower neckline um, and the shoulder straps are farther apart, so you can get away with wearing it under, under lower cut t-shirts and stuff like that. Um, it won't show as much. But these clasps don't lay completely flat, so if you have like a skin tight shirt on or something, um, they will show and there will be a little bump there, just something to be aware of. GC2B binders. These are the binders generally, like, I really like their brand. They make, I, I wear half tanks. Um, I know some people like full tank binders. I don't, but it's up to you. I feel like they write up my waist, but if you don't have as a pronounced waist or it doesn't bother you, that works. If you have a full tank, some people, full tank just means instead of stopping here, um, the binding panel stops there, but this, this stretchy fabric um, goes all the way down to your waist. I've never worn one um, of GC2Bs, but I've had like, they make these, the, these, God, Amazon type binders in full tanks. I don't like them. But um, this is a GC2B binder. Uh, they work very well. Um, they, I have had, this is my third GC2B binder. Um, they, I, I really like them. They are a bit of a struggle to get on over your head um, or take off if you're not used to it, but it just takes practice. Um, and they have different, they have, sorry, my cat's right there. Um, they make nude, they have like, I think five nude shades. If you want one that won't show under a white shirt or something. Um, and I had two of those. They work really well. Um, the color matched very nicely. Um, 
but they do get like if they get dirty, it shows. Um, just because of if you're, I mean, if you're pale like me, then it shows. I got it so it wouldn't show under white clothing, and then I realized that I wasn't passing anyways. So this works better because it doesn't get dirty as much. Um, they also have like red, blue, green, and purple, and I'm thinking about getting a red one. Sorry, irrelevant. Um, but everything I know about their binders is really good. They You can put them in the washer. Um, if you put them in the dryer, do beware that they get a little bit tighter. So if you put them in the washer and you don't want it to get any tighter, then, then just hang it to dry. Um, you, they, they recommend if you're going to be exercising in a binder, um, in a GC2P binder, get one the size larger than you are. So whether you're, um, and swimming as well, you can swim in these. Um, now these go on over your head, so that does make it more difficult to wear them, I swear to God. Um, but... They work better than one with, <laughs> no, okay. Um, they work better than ones with clasps because they have just a flat panel. Like this is, God, my cat. They have like a canvas type panel that's just here in the front and the rest is just this. I think it's like a spandex or a latex type. Oh my God. Sorry, my cat's having a crisis. Um, yeah, these work really well. Um, trying to think. They are very warm. All binding is going to make you overheated, but these GC2B binders, you are going to get warm. Um, so basically, like, I'm always really cold, so I would usually wear, like, an undershirt, a t-shirt, and a sweater. And with this, I often don't have to wear an undershirt. So, Jesus Christ. Um... Yeah, the one, another, another problem, because it has a higher neckline, it will show under lower cut t-shirts. Um, I personally don't care too much, but if that's something you don't want, get a nude binder and don't um, wear lower cut shirts. Uh, I, um, I was, I think I was the second lightest shade when I bought a nude binder, if you go to their website, I'll put a link in the description. They talk all about it. They talk about how to bind safely. Um, if you get the wrong size, you can just send it back and they'll send you the right size. If you have any questions about sizing, just send them a message and they'll get back to you. They're really great. I love them. Hey, Neptune. It's not making this easy. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, Jesus. Um, I think that's it. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all. <laughs> I'll see y'all some other time. If there are any other videos you want to see, let me know. I plan on making a video all about colored contacts and contact safety and my collection, all that fun stuff. Um, but if there's anything, any characters you want to see or anything, let me know.